Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the elements that we hold in our hands. We thank you for these elements represent the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. We have come to remember Jesus Christ this morning and we say thank you for the body and the blood. We partake of you. The understanding that Jesus Christ sacrificed his life for our sins. We want to say thank you for giving us Jesus Christ, the one who sacrificed his life for us. We have come to remember him because he told us to do so. So, Father, this morning we say thank you for the love. Thank you for the life that we have in him. Thank you for the protection that we have because of the blood of Jesus and the body of Jesus Christ. This day we partake with hearts of thanksgiving. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let's partake of your cup together. Amen. Amen. Let's pray for the children this morning as we've been doing. Amen. Second Corinthians chapter 13, verse 14. On the King James Version, it says, The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Ghost with you all. Amen. Amen. So let's go. The prayer pattern on the screen. Thank you that you so desire to lift up our, our voices to give So, God, what I need to do, thank you. That's you, Almighty Father. Your word tells us as Christians we should seek and enjoy the grace of the Lord Jesus. To discover what this package has available for us to seek. We can enjoy the grace of the Lord Jesus. And the communion of the Holy Ghost. But I would like to know the love of God, to understand and appreciate and embrace the love of God. Praise the God of the Holy Spirit. Help us, Father, as parents, to be awesome Christian models of our children. I pray over for our daughters, Eva Dina. I pray in the name of Jesus, and they will be awesome. I and my husband will be awesome Christian models to them, so that when they grow up, they will become examples and models for others. In the name of Jesus, pray and touch on your word and declare concerning Eva Bina and Shana as follows: And may the grace and joyous favor of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love, peace, and abounding grace of God and the precious communion that we share with the Holy Spirit. And this area to be well developed in your life, that you be to model those particular areas of your life. Peace. You want to be example of the grace of meaning the example. And your life be present. Father, we say thank you this morning. Thank you for the grace to become models of your word before them in the name of Jesus. In this world, they will not be lost to, to their own ideas, but they will be directed by the wisdom of God, grace of God, by the leadership of the Holy Spirit, by the love of God. The love of God will envelop them wherever they find themselves and will direct them in the things that they should do. In the name of God. Amen. <laughs> So I'd like for us to pray according to John, 3 John chapter 1, verse 2. It says, Beloved friend, I pray that you are prospering in every way 
and that you continually enjoy good health just as your soul is prospering. I read it again. Beloved friend, I pray that you are prospering in every way and that you continually enjoy good health just as your soul is prospering. Amen. Amen. I want for us to lift up this particular scripture to the Lord concerning our children this morning. Let us pray. It is for us that we prosper in every way and that we continually enjoy good health in, in every way. And that you continually enjoy it. This morning, this is for us that we will prosper in every way and continually enjoy good health just as our soul is prospering. We that your thoughts towards us cannot be recounted. And that these thoughts are thoughts of peace and not of evil. Thoughts to give us a future and hope. Beautiful thoughts, these awesome thoughts that you have in the name of Jesus. And we declare that it is our portion in the name of Jesus. I pray that your thoughts of prospering in nation will abound more and more in the name of Jesus. I decree that yes. and hope are established in the life of continually enjoying good health just as their soul is prospering in the name of Jesus. They are less for themselves, Father. They desire all that you desire for them in the name of Jesus. They will, not and they will not think less of themselves, but speak what your thoughts towards them are, and they will align themselves with your thoughts towards them in the name of prosper in every way in the name of Jesus enjoy good health just as you go first in the name of Jesus Ricky 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 Corobo Sikitanda Rabasiti, Rondo Roboshia Rabasiti, Rekian Bakorobo Shia Rabasinda Rabakota. Thank you, Father, for our children. Thank you for their lives. Thank you for their health. Thank you, oh God, for all that they are in you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's be a sword, a prosperity in Jesus' name. So we'll continue to pray for them according to Philippians 2, verse 3 to, to 4. It says, don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourself. Don't look out only for your own interest, but take an interest in others too. Amen. 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 Sounds like an, an, an advice or a daily advice that we can give our children directly from the word of God. Because children generally have the tendency to be selfish and they have the tendency to impress others because of, of course, their ignorance at that level. Amen. But it's a very wonderful advice and use even today for the young ones or text it even to the older ones and encourage them in the word. Amen. Let's Amen. leave prayer points a lot, this particular scriptures with the Lord. Father, your word tells us this morning in that we should not try to impress others, but rather we should be thinking of others as better than ourselves. That we should not look out only for our interests, but take an interest in others too. In the name of Jesus, we pray. For this scripture will be applicable to you in every dimension. Forever, be nation. I shall be free from pride. 
people like Christ will cause him to be in us. And the Lord has us measure in person that this earth. Let it be known in the world. I pray that you feel to be like Christ when God is with others first and view others as more important than yourselves in the name of Jesus. Let it be known, oh God, that Eva B. I shall not walk with you. That your walk with you is authentic and their walk with you is that of humility and sacrifice in the name of Jesus. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love, peace, and abundant grace of God rest and abide with Eva Binajima as champions of the interest of others in the name of Jesus. But if we know that it's not by might, neither is it by power, but by your spirit, so that children will be able to and they will interpret others in their daily lives and they will not look to their own personal interests, but the interest of, of you, oh God, in the name of Jesus, and the interests of others will be seen throughout their decision making in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for their life. We thank you because yes, it's been wiped out this morning by the blood of Jesus. This morning, in the name of Jesus, they that they are humble, the part of humility, in the name of Jesus, that they purposefully think of others as better than themselves, in the name of Jesus. To look out for the interest of others via their interest in the name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. We beloved, love according to Proverbs 10, verse 9, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, People with integrity walk safely, but those who have crooked paths will be exposed. Our prayer this morning is that our children will choose to tread on the path of integrity, integrity of their words, integrity of their actions, integrity of lifestyle, and in every way, in the name of Jesus, with their education, they'll choose to tread the path of integrity because people with integrity walk safely. There is no guilt attached to their steps in the name of Jesus. But those who follow crooked paths will be exposed. Amen. Pray that our children will not become victims of circumstances in the name of Jesus. Let's pray for them. Father God, we thank you this morning for your word, Lord. Thank you for in the action in the name of Jesus, because when also in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, from the fear of having sin and compromise in our lives, Father, in the name of Jesus. This day we pray for our children. And every child on this platform, and they integrity of time, integrity of actions, integrity of, 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 of and we know double life 
no double standard. And a trajectory for the alignment of God. And then Jesus confidence in life that comes from a walk of integrity in word, integrity in integrity in love, integrity in spirit. In the name of Jesus, but I think that we pray for our children, we pray for ourselves. We pray for ourselves, oh God, that we will walk in integrity. I in the things that we say and the places that we go. our desire and commitment is the all the and that our children will follow in this same Amen. Amen. I'd like for us to use this morning to command our morning. Also to command the morning of our children in the name of Jesus. Bible says, have we commanded our morning? So the answer is yes. Every day we gather to command our morning. It was we want to, this morning to make declarations in the name of Jesus. So I'm going to start the slide slowly, but let's just continue to make these declarations over our lives and over the lives of our children in the name of let us pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I command my morning Amen. and declare that it is a new day. The authority over my day will be in the name of Jesus. And we learn of my day shall cooperate with purpose and beauty. Of anyone has signed under my 
para que esté But in the name of Jesus, we command our morning and the morning of our children. In the name of Jesus, by the anointing of God upon my life, every drop is broken off my life. Every burden is lifted. Every burden is lifted. Every children in the name First, me to know the way in which I should walk. You cause us to know the way in which we should walk. For we oh, God, my God, teach me to do your will. Jesus, you are my God. Your spirit is with me. My spirit is with me.
Thank you. Thank in the name of Jesus. I will assist them even in their classroom work in the name of Jesus at their jobs. We thank you for angelic activity. In the name of Jesus. We see our Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. And we pray this day for ourselves, O God. And we pray for our children. Oh, how to conduct our teachers in a right manner. Even as we pray for our children, Lord, and you invite the Holy Spirit and His wisdom, understanding and His and the fear of the Lord and prophetic be upon us, be upon our children. Mighty 
Father, we thank you this day. In the name of Jesus, we decree and we on ourselves and on behalf of our children. In the name of Jesus, we decree and we the most high we have the right to touch our life in any way for we are in covenant with God and He did in this secret place of the most with the Holy Spirit as our work with the Holy Spirit. Our children will work with the Holy Spirit. The Holy For an audience of one, the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, we declare and declare that you're teaching. Uh, you are teaching me. Jesus, this morning for us and for our us to make positive and significant deposits. 
My name and the names of my children. And the names of my children.
this day, even our prayer, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Beloved, I'd like for us to pray for tonight's Bible studies. We're talking on the subject matter of being born again. And let's pray for everyone who attend and uh, the minds that will have to be receptive and open to receive. Because the tendency is that we, when we hear certain things for so long, we just get acquainted with the word, but not the meaning behind. Part of the challenge I faced preaching the word yesterday on born again is because we are just familiar with terminologies, but we are not familiar with the mindset behind what we see. So I pray that the Lord is going to break that barrier, amen, and elevate us to new realms that we will not just say words, but we will understand exactly what we are saying. Because how be it that we have called ourselves born again throughout, but when the explanation comes, it's hitting walls. It means that there is something wrong with our doctrine. Amen. So let's pray and commit the Bible studies into the hands of the Lord and pray that the Lord releases angels to minister to, to the hearts of the people and prepare them to receive the word in the name of Jesus. Let us pray, please. and I will pray that you break that barrier of this understanding that is within us. Understand. Prepare the hearts of the people in the name of Jesus, so that they can receive the word. A candidate in Jesus. Amen. We wish you a greeting this morning. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of our God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be at us now forever. Amen. God's goodness shall last all the days of our lives, of our to the house of the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Have a blessed day, family, and see you tomorrow. You too. Thank you so much. Good day, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.